Hi everybody, in this month's video we're going to take the John Deere 2038 out and my brand new Land Pride soil pulverizer as I put a yard in for a buddy of mine. If you're interested in seeing this, how it works, join me please today in Iowa. Well, here's the attachments we're going to take a look at today uh, associated with this video, if you're interested in those. And I want to start off with the uh, quick connect attachment here that I have. Boy, I wish I would have bought this several years ago uh, on a job like we're going to do today where we have several different attachments. This is really nice, and we're going to demonstrate that for under $400. Uh, what a deal. I encourage you to take a real hard look at that if you have multiple attachments. Well, here's the John Deere 2038 and the loader. Well, let's take a walk around and I'll try to point out some things and not uh, bore you too much with this. Uh, you may also want to check out my videos 10, 11, and 12, 84, and 87. They have a smaller pulverizer that I used on the 1025 and it worked very well. A few things I wanted to point out here. This is a double roller. It has 206 spikes, counting both rollers. Uh, it is quick hitch compatible. It weighs uh, approximately 671 pounds with a single roller. I couldn't find the weight of the double roller, so I'm comfortable saying this is uh, 700 pounds with that in mind. The rear lifting weight of the uh, 2038 is, uh, I'm going to round it, 1,350 pounds, about twice of what the 1025 is. So this is a good fit. This obviously wouldn't be a good fit for the 1025 but it's going to work real nice for this uh, for today's project in the 2038. There's the shanks. There's 25 of those. They're reversible, they're heat treated, and uh, they're staggered. As you go across the ground, they stagger so they're more effective in tearing the soil up. So today we are going to take, obviously, the 2038 and the pulverizer. We're going to take uh, the front forks, some rear ballast, and uh, we're going to get the eye match leveled up there as I showed, give everything a shot of grease, which uh, the manual says do every 10 hours, and we're going to hit the road. This was recorded, I believe, in August. The Iowa fields look so nice this time of year, don't they? Especially uh, watching this here in the middle of February. Well, here we are at my buddy's house. We're in Cascade, Iowa today. You'll notice that I put the pulverizer at the front of the trailer. When I was trying to load it at my house, my driveway was, excuse me, the trailer was very flat. The length of the pulverizer onto the tractor kept hitting the ramps. So what I did, uh, I didn't want to just push it onto there and damage the ramps. So what I did uh, was just disconnect and put it on a pallet, load it with the forks, and it worked out just fine. You can see I'm using the uh, ballast box here to uh, counterbalance the load, and it's working terrific. Here's the first pile of dirt that we're going to attack once we get set up. And there's another load around the uh, back of the house. And I believe we're going to bring in uh, two or three more loads throughout this project. And there's a shot at the backyard. Okay, so I want to get the uh, ballast box off now. And the eye match really shines here, doesn't it? Just a couple levers up, drop it back onto the pulverizer, a couple levers down, hook her up, and you're ready to go. Boy, I like this thing. I wish I had bought that uh, a long time ago. I've used it on the 1025 and this, and I just love it. And I know there's a lot of different manufacturers, so uh, take a serious look at getting something like that if you have multiple attachments. Okay, we hooked up the bucket. I like John Deere's quick attach design there with that. And a couple of pins down, and I'm ready to go to work. So my method is going to be uh, spread this dirt out throughout his front yard and backyard. Then we're going to use the pulverizer to even things out. And then we're going to seed it. There's a new Holland sitting there that uh, my buddy had rented. I think you'll see that in action here too. So it was nice with two tractors. It only took, uh, I believe, one day and we were done with this project. Uh, one reason I bought the 2038 is the loader uh, lifting capacity. I'm not going to get tied up on numbers real hard, but um, it has about twice the lifting, the loader lift, uh, of the 1025, about twice, as does the rear lifting. So when I was shopping for the 2038, again, these are round numbers and just my thoughts. 
Uh, I like the fact that it would lift about twice the amount of the 1025 in the front and the back. And then I moved up to bigger implements for jobs like this. So I'm real happy with that decision. Here's a little better view of what it looks like uh, as I'm bringing the dirt up from the dirt pile. Now my thoughts are to take enough buckets out of that dirt pile where I can then just kind of bulldoze my way through it and, and uh, spread it out. And we're at that point right now. So I'm just going to push through there and, and uh, push it out and spread it out and I think it'll be just fine. This had been in place for a while so there's a little moisture in there. And I was hoping by spreading it out throughout my friend's yard it would dry out and uh, pulverize real nice for us. It was nice the uh, dirt pile we were getting this from was only a few blocks away. So once we called for dirt it didn't take too long to get it delivered to the site. In fact we were able to keep up with the dump truck a couple times for loads. I'd have it spread out by the time he got back so we really had some efficiency go on there work uh, very well. One thing I didn't mention was the uh, 2038 weighs about a thousand pounds more than the uh, 1025. And I kind of like that and I also like the, I'm going to call it the cockpit of the tractor. Uh, I feel like I'm sitting in there a little bit lower and a little more uh, connected to the tractor. I really like this uh, 2038 so far. All right, my thoughts are I'm going to just uh, go back and forth over this and let that large I-beam spread some of that dirt out. And then we'll allow that double roller to uh, break it up and pulverize it uh, and get it ready for seating. I'm using the lever for the rear attachment uh, to raise it up and down as I want to distribute dirt throughout the yard in some low spots or drag it off to another area. So you're going to see me working that lever and raising and lowering and spreading the dirt out using that. Here was kind of a high spot uh, that I just couldn't get drug uh, or spread out using the pulverizer. So I just come around with the bucket and took a few inches off of that and spread that around. It was kind of a wet soft spot but worked out pretty good using just the bucket. And there's a low spot right in there that I'm trying to fill and uh, get that to slope away from the house nice. Well, let's go around to the back of the yard now. We're going to take a bite out of that pile back there. A little more loader work here. Obviously, I'm being uh, real cautious around the uh, air conditioner compressor there and everything sitting alongside his house so I don't strike any of that or the new siding. There's going to be a little bit of shovel work around the foundation, as you can imagine. I'm trying to put dirt in here and slope the water away from the house. And when I start pulverizing this area, I'm going to keep in mind how it will mow. So you'll see me going around and kind of changing or trying to grade the contour so it's a nice easy mow and, and I'm not leaving any difficult areas to, to clean up or mow. All right, I kicked this up uh, two times normal speed just to keep it a little interesting. I uh, finally have whittled that pile down and what I'm gonna do is just spread that out around the yard there and uh, blend it all in and uh, it should be in good shape. And there's an oak tree there, I believe. I uh, just had to watch my rops and make sure uh, I wouldn't run into that. But you can see it's starting to feather out there, and I'm starting to change that contour, uh, I think, real nice there for his yard, so it's easy to mow. 
All right, so I'm back getting uh, in the front yard again, and I'm starting to get into an area where I didn't put any new dirt. My plan is to blend the new dirt together with the existing harder soil. Keep in mind this is August, so it's pretty dry. I wish uh, I had purchased this disc harrow before I did his yard because I would have brought it along and I would have dissed that all up. Boy, that would have really blended that new soil and old soil together nice, uh, wouldn't it? You're going to see that in the next few videos. I know some people have asked me to get that out as soon as I can, and I've not forgotten that, so I will get it done for you. So again, I'm just trying to mix these soils all together, and right now I'm really using the scarifiers to do that. One thing I noticed in the uh, owner's manual was you can add 400 pounds to this if you're getting some stubborn soil that uh, is not breaking up very well, you can add additional weight to this. This is some pretty good stiff ground in here. Tractor uh, bogged down there a little bit, so I lifted it up a little bit, and a few more passes I'll have it all pulverized and tore up like I would like. But again, this is August. Uh, probably not the most ideal time to put a yard in Iowa. Uh, I would have preferred September uh, to get more rains in because this is going to take a lot of watering. But at the end, I'll show you how it turned out, and I think it was a pretty good uh, project for us. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but the uh, front roller tension, the pounds per inch is 32 pounds on that front roller, and it's 15 pounds on the rear roller, and that is adjustable. Seems to be working pretty good here. I guess sometime I'll have to change that and see what the effect is. I left this uh, video in uh, because the manual says don't turn with the scare fires down. And uh, I had a nice lazy turn in there and I wasn't too concerned about it, especially with the soil already pulverized and uh, kind of loose. Now as I start getting towards the end of the yard uh, here, I, I've started to raise the uh, pulverizer a little bit and let the, and let the uh, roller wheels do the work more than the H-beam and the scarifiers. So as I get back to my fine tuning of this, my fine grading, my fine finish, I just want the spike rollers to roll over it and break it up and get it ready for seed. I'll try to point that out here where I'm raising that. Here I'm changing my direction now. I'm going to go from the front of the house to the street. Again, I'm thinking about water runoff and I'm just taking my time. I don't want to break up his or chip his brand new driveway here, so I'm taking my time. Here's a top view of uh, the work I'm doing near his concrete driveway there. So again, I'm just being real careful not to get in that concrete and damage that. Always want to know where your rollers are at as I back up towards the sidewalk here and then uh, raise them and replace those down just to be cautious of that. Overall, we're getting to the end of the project here and I think everything's turning out very well. Again, I'll show you what it looks like uh, several months after we did this one. Alright, we're going to go over to the side yard now, and uh, I'm going to speed that up because we're getting near the end here. Thanks for staying with me uh, throughout this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Apparently YouTube uses that information to decide what videos are brought forward. Uh, so again, I really appreciate a thumbs up on these. It keeps me encouraged to make more. Thanks a lot, everybody. And welcome to my new subscribers. I see those are coming through here on a daily basis. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, we're starting to wind down here now. You can see I'm doing the final grade now in the front yard. 
and uh, I'm alternating between the using the scarifiers and the spike rollers. I'm going to run around that yard and uh, fine-tune that grade now and get it ready for seed and mowing. Here's the side. It's all done. I think it looks pretty good too, don't you? I'm not going to uh, do the back. Uh, this video is just getting too long, but I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Uh, here I'm trying to show you how I blended it to the neighbor's uh, vacant lot there. I think that turned out pretty good. And I'm also showing you the grade, how I made it just a lazy grade around there to the front of the house to the side. I think that'll mow real nice. All right, I had another load of dirt brought. We're going to put that up between the uh, sidewalk and the home there. We'll get that done. And then there's just a real few small spots that I want to sprinkle a little bit of dirt in there and uh, try to eliminate some saucering or holding water there in the yard. So we'll sprinkle that around there and... Uh, I think we're going to call this uh, quits here pretty quick. Yeah. Really happy with it. I think the 2038 was the right tractor for this, and the uh, larger pulverizer was nice. You know, it's always nice. It's not necessary or mandatory, but it's always nice when the implement in the rear um, is wider than the rear tires. I, and that worked very good here. All right, another load of dirt brought in, and this time we got a little bit smarter and asked him to try to tailgate it out a little bit for us so I'd have a little bit less loader work and that's what he's doing here. Real quick funny story I think we had three people uh, stop and ask us uh, if they could hire us and uh, we don't do this for hire this is just for fun. Alright what I'm showing here as we do the final grade and uh, finishing on this is I'm using the rollers. The rollers are going across there and clobbering that dirt. I'm really not using the scarifiers or the H beam. Uh, so there, raised it up. See, I'm just kind of roller pinning it around and uh, just busting that up. It's pretty dry now. Uh, it was a pretty warm day and dried out real nice, and we're all ready for seed. All right, so I talked my wife into putting the uh, lawn seed and fertilizer on, so there she is getting that in place in the backyard. And there's another picture of the backyard all done. And uh, here's my buddies putting down some uh, straw mat in the front and the side yards. And some more straw going down on the uh, side of the home there. Kicks out real nice, doesn't it? Well, let's jump ahead in time and go back. Here we are two months later. The yards come in pretty good. And I'm going to aerate it and give it another fall seeding, as I will next spring. Well, it was a good project, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me throughout the entire uh, longer video than I typically put out. Thanks, everybody. You have a great month, and we'll talk with you soon. So long.